Do we want to start with the bonkers Shia LaBeouf? Yeah, let's start with the bonkers Shia LaBeouf. Right, because I've got some thoughts on Honey Boy. Did you get to, did you get to see her? Uh, do Boy? you know what? After I had it in the diary, <laughs> and after after Lucy in the Sky, I was like, uh, I can't. <laughs> I oh just God. can't go and see another movie. I'm going to go home and have I a did, nap. I did Lucy in the Sky and Honey Boy back to back. And, uh, well, I think I did it the better <sighs> way around with Motherless Brooklyn. Then. Yeah, because you did Motherless Brooklyn then, then yeah. uh, Lucy in the Sky. So, uh, Honey Boy, a uh, new movie for, by... Uh, Alma Hotel. Um, this is written by Shia LaBeouf. Okay. And it is written in such a way as to uh, to to uh, 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 you know, chronicle his own upbringing, effectively. Right. And uh, what he's done is he's told the story of his relationship with his father, who evidently was was uh, you know had something of a criminal past. He was a war veteran. He had substance abuse issues, and at the same time was you know tasked with raising his you know child actor son, who's played in his younger years by Noah Jupe mm. and is played in his in his adult years by Lucas uh, by Lucas Hedges doing a pure Lucas Hedges performance by the way can we please have a Lucas Hedges movie at some point where he's not committed to some kind of facility <laughs> Be- I swear. He- hey, uh, what was the one with um, Casey Affleck? He wasn't committed to a facility in that. Oh, that was well, he was committed to Manchester by the Sea. He was stuck in a small town and he couldn't get out. Oh, come on. I, I-, I just want, I want to see Lucas Hedges travel You want travel to see him somewhere. in a Marvel film or I something, I want to see him travel you? somewhere. <laughs> That's what it is. Because we had B- uh, Boy Erased last year where yeah. he was committed to a facility. And, you know, it's one of those things. Anyway, so uh, this is it. So this is all about the relationship in his tween years with his dad, played by Shia LaBeouf. Greatest exercise in working out your daddy issues I have wow. ever seen. Yeah. And he's played in his adult years in 2005 by Lucas Hedges when he's committed to rehab to work out the issues stemming from said relationship with father. I'm looking for one of those nines, please. No can be. Jen. No, you did. Jen. No, you did not. Did and you had the six. God damn. I knew it too. I knew you had it. I knew it. I saw it. I saw it on your face. Put it down. 86. I'm getting better. Because Learning you're lying. to lie. Yeah, well, you lie for a living, poop butt. We all do. I don't. Yeah, you do. No, sir. You lie. I'm telling you, I'm a lot of things. A liar's not one of them, buddy. So I heard a lot of awards noise mm-hmm. about this from, like, I suppose more indie festival circuits when it first Definitely came out. Definitely indie. Um, I think it did quite well at TIFF. Um... I could be I could be wrong with that, but I, I feel like it did. It I think, did I think some, it was a TIFF film, yeah. Yeah, I think it was. Anyway, there was a was a bit of buzz about it, and there was a lot of interviews, and Shia LaBeouf wasn't as bonkers as he normally is. I mean, ugh, do we care? Is right. the question. I will say, if there is even a stick of truth to any of the story that's being spun here, we finally have an explanation as to Shia LaBeouf. Okay. That's all I'm going to say because... To, the paper to be, bag on the head is... Yeah. To be real. frank, it's not surprising Shia LaBeouf is the way he is if any of this is true. I always just thought it was a publicity stunt. You mm. know, I just didn't ever really buy into him being... I just think he's nuts. And to be <laughs> fair, it makes sense now. Um... Right, Shia LaBeouf playing the dad is quite clearly going for so he's swinging for that Oscar Beatty awards love. I mean, we're now at that step, that point of the year where. But is it is it even yeah. going to hold up for a nom? God no. Okay. God no, because it is wafflingly self indulgent. To be fair, the whole film is wafflingly self indulgent. No, However, if I look in the credits, does he exec produce this? Oh, you will. That's find where he you'll has. find you'll you'll find whether or not like <laughs> it's like an Elton John Rocket Man self indulgence, right? Yeah, I'll absolutely go with that. Um, I can't see him on the uh, on the production list actually. But uh, wouldn't surprise me if he's gone. If he, if he'd gone the whole hog, produced it, you know, uh, written the score for it, you know, all that nonsense. Tune. <laughs> Rang the theme tune. Rang the theme tune. was a costume designer, yeah. you know, <laughs> original yeah. story by, you know, everything like that. Um, it is. Uh, it's it's a very indie friendly film. It is very dark. It is very. It's like, the whole thing feels like an awards clip reel. You know, when you get the awards yeah. non clip, this feels like it's just a, a sequence of those clip moments. However, it does have two genuinely great performances from both actors tasked by tasked with playing 
Shia LaBeouf, although he's called Otis in, in the film notes. Uh, I will say as well, uh, Martin Starr turns up in this in a small role. I'm a very mm-hmm. big fan of Martin mm-hmm. Starr from uh, Silicon Valley, yeah. the Spider-Man, the recent yeah. Spider-Man movies where he's the teacher. Yeah. And I'm a big fan he's of that He's great as a teacher. He's, he's great as a teacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't lose another student. <laughs> <laughs> you know. um, I don't think this is really going to be for, well, I was going to say it wouldn't be for everyone. I don't think it's for anyone who isn't Shia LaBeouf. Interestingly, though, mm. this has had more publicity than ordinary love it has, or, enough, yeah. yeah lucy in the sky which is interesting so which is yeah. why i was like i put it on my list to see mm. i just you know had my innards ripped out of me from lucy in the sky <laughs> Ar- <laughs> and, arguably this is the heavy hitter of the week really but yeah so, yeah i I'd say it's just it, it just doesn't it doesn't work entirely it does is, it make you does it make you like or loathe Shia LaBeouf more it makes me loathe him a little bit more because frankly there is an ungodly amount of self mythologizing in this but also actually the question really is, is does anyone really care no, because Shia LaBeouf is very 2003, isn't he? Yes, so that's the thing. He's not as relevant nowadays. So mm. who really cares about his daddy issues from back then yeah, yeah. in order to have it now? Like, if it was someone more prevalent, yes. I'd kind of go, I get it. It, it. Put it this way, this does, if you run the numbers on this and start working out certain timelines and events in your head, again, yeah. if there's any truth to it, it does put the making of the movie Constantine in a very different context. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs>